No, Renema... Vernard. <laughs> that is a beautiful name for a chicken. Oi, Vernard. Hey guys, how are we all keeping? Artemis here, and welcome back to episode 15 here on the Romani farm. Last episode, we were able to upgrade our pickaxe and buy a coop, so this time around, we need to work further with that and fill up that coop with some chickens. Also, quick side note, cheers for joining me today guys, your support on this series is amazing. So, let's get into it. What is our weather? Well, our weather today is sunny and for tomorrow, it is going to be clear and sunny again. The fortune is very bad luck. That is actually good luck for me. Be actually, no, I'm going fishing. <laughs> what am I thinking? Of course not. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so today the goal is very simple. It's going to be about making as much money as I can with fishing because here are my seasonal goals. My seasonal goals is I want to have all of the animals for the community center except for the pig. The pig is going to come later. Uh, the pig is very expensive. I also want to look at buying an apple and a pomegranate tree because those are the only um, fruit trees I actually need for the community center for my for my strategy. And also I'm looking at getting a stable and a house upgrade. So all of these things are very expensive. So summer is going to be very much about making some money guys. Hey look at that we actually even got a... Wow! That is actually amazing. I what is the chances of uh, two cloth? I mean, a cloth. <laughs> oh no way! Really? Did I just get that? Give me a second. Let me just check this, people. Uh, for the uh, pantry, it's the um, artisan bundle. Wow. Uh, we actually don't need to buy a sheep or a rabbit anymore because we were able to get a bolt of cloth. Not just one, two of them. That is astounding. Here, have another piece of newspaper. Let's see if we can get another one. That is some damn good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Let's let's just keep going. Speaking of which, I also have this cave carrot on me. So I'm going to quickly toss that cave carrot into the bin here as well. Because I know it's for a community center bundle. So there you go. Yeah, wow. That is hugely lucky. I mean, a, a, a sheep is what? $4,000, $8,000? So the goal I just mentioned there has just become significantly easier. That is amazing. I'm actually going to keep this other bolt of cloth just for the time being. Uh, Gus here has given us the salmon dinner. I think that's a pretty good uh, trade for giving him a diamond, so I'm very happy with that. I can't really buy animals today. If I could, I would, but alas, Marnie is exercising. I quickly fe uh, fetch this other purple mushroom out of the cave because the purple mushroom is for two bundles. Yeah, it's for a field research bundle and for... Uh, just foraging in general, so I need two of these little guys. So there you go. All right. Well, let's actually. Oh wow. Let's just grab another torch. Here. They're all torches. Goodness gracious. I'm actually very happy I put all these things in here. All these recycle machines. They're actually really damn worth it. We are going to take eight of these down there because I want to make some light from where our place is. Now, eventually, I will make a fence around my crop field but I just I'm, I'm not getting around to it at the moment I'd rather keep the wood just long enough until we've bought the uh, barn and everything as well I would also go and buy a barn but unfortunately I can't we got some hot peppers here as well which is good so that's a little bit of income I'm just tossing some of these around here just so there's some light there we go that'll do <laughs> it's so crude Alright, so I'm going to head up in this direction, and I think, up oh, here's Benjamin, he's hiding in the grass. He's in the tall grass! Hey, buddy! Sorry, buddy, but you're not... Oh, wait, that's for the chickens. I need to leave that. And this is also not for the chicken. Actually, chickens eat worms, but not those worms. Those worms are mine. Now, I know I'm keeping... There we go, so I'm going to take this hot pepper out, put this hot pepper in there, one for the community center, one for George, and these ones can now be sold. Rightio, I think I'm going to head down to the beach now, so I'm going to run through my foraging area and we'll see what we can do. Hello Jazz, I, are you talking to me now? Are we friends enough? Yes we have, thank god. She says hi now, because apparently since last episode she's now three hearts, but she just felt like telling me to bugger off because I gave her a cake and that's all she wanted before. I feel used and abused by a child. <laughs> So we got 5,000 at the moment, and I know that we already have our pickaxe being upgraded at the moment, and I think I'll hold off on my axe until 
we've gotten all the other important things. Do you ever wear those? Do you wear those clothes every day? Yes, these are my working clothes. Um, these are my working clothes. These are my working pants. This is my working hat. And yes. <laughs> all right, let's toss all these in here. And let us do some fishing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna see how I do without a trap bobber. Because if I don't need a trap bobber, that would suit me because I don't want to keep spending $500 or 500 uh, gold. Jesus, this one is actually rough as hell. What is this? This is most likely an octopus. Uh, on second thought, I might actually go and get that trap bobber. Otherwise, this recording for me is going to take forever. Yeah, I'm going to go get a trap bobber because that was... A little bit difficult. <laughs> the goodness gracious, that was insane. We'll buy one of these, but the next time round, I'm actually gonna make my own one. So, just because I'm not home now, just th wait. That was with a trap bobber. Good God, that was with a trap bobber. So the stable and the house individually cost about ten thousand gold each. So that's twenty thousand gold there. Uh, 30,000 gold if you include the pomegranate and the apple tree and all the other animals. I think I need to spend at least 50,000 or something this entire season. That's a bit crazy. It was helped greatly by the fact that, that I got some wool from those newspapers so now I don't have to now I don't have to get a sheep or a rabbit at all. Actually no, I'm mistaken. I do need to get a rabbit because a rabbit drops the rabbit foot so I do need a rabbit. So actually that didn't change anything, because usually I would only get a rabbit for the wool. Oh well, I thought luck was on my side there. I'm not enjoying this luck, I'm getting nothing but seaweed. I mean, I'm getting more seaweed than I am fish. Speaking of which, there is actually another fish that I need to go catch that I can catch at the secret woods, which is the wood skip. But because that one is in any season, I'm not particularly in a rush to go and get that little fella. Just while we're here doing some fishing as well, I'll quickly uh, mention that I have two guide videos in regards to fishing. One is about the best location to fish each season, and then the other one is a fishing techniques guide and a really good tip for any uh, people who are struggling with fishing. Um, the tip can help everyone master fishing without actually catching a fish, so I'll make sure to link those at the end of this video. Actually, the next time I see Leah, I'm going to give her one of these pieces of wood that I've just caught. It's like I summoned it out of the ethereal. I'm going to give her one of those pieces of wood because I believe she does like them. Because she likes to carve with wood. I wonder if Robin actually likes them. Now that is a good question. I actually don't know. It would have been nice if there's like an animation for Willy when he catches a fish or something like that. But alas, I don't think he ever catches a fish. Poor fellow. <laughs> Except at the fishing uh, competition in winter, then he goes absolutely crazy, I think. And our fish tackle just worn out, which is good. I was expecting that one to run out pretty much at the end of the night. I think we'll just catch, uh, cast a line now until I'm completely out of energy. Mm, no, come back here. And this is the last fish for the night, just before midnight. And we are completely out of energy as well. The next cast will exhaust us. There we go, excellent. Now let's head back to home, but before we do, uh, well, let's quickly just grab all our stuff. Um, guess we can we leave anything here? Yeah, leave this. Actually, no, we'll take everything with us, except for the fishing rod. We want to leave that there. Excellent, looking good. Actually, speaking of which, I will leave half of these mushrooms here, just in ten. There we go. Cool, so that's what I'm going to be taking home. These are the amount of fish I caught. So let's head over to the museum and we will take the tram, the little train cart, back home. It was a bad luck day and we did end up catching like 11 seaweed, which wasn't ideal. There we are. I love these mine carts. They are so efficient for time. So efficient for time. Alright, let's see what this entire lot is going to be worth. Oh, I'm looking forward to it actually. I reckon it'll be good. Uh, we don't need these anymore, so... Yes, I think that's everything. Is 
just quickly put a couple of CDs in here as well and might as well put that in there as well put all these in there I will keep our candles there for the time being but we'll probably decorate the area soon with candles excellent I think that's going to do it for the night so so let's have a look see if we leveled all right good night Benjamin you take care buddy and let's go to bed we didn't level tonight but let's see how much money we made we were able to rake in about six thousand uh yeah just under six thousand dollars so that's excellent so if we need roughly thirty to fifty thousand and we're not getting anything from the farming just yet this is going to put us well and truly ahead excellent looking forward to it our um, golden pickaxe is ready as well so we're definitely going to be picking that up today but let's check the weather first all right the weather for tomorrow is going to be clear and sunny for the luau excellent i completely forgot about that one so we do have the golden cauliflower for that so we're well and prepared for that that rotten cauliflower has been you know just festering in that chest and it's gonna really spruce up that soup i'm sure the spirits are very happy today excellent i was actually planning on doing some mining today and the queen of sauce is again the baked fish excellent so let's head out guys all right so forward to oh hello hi Artemis. good morning this must be because of the wool i think you seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Uh, thank you kindly. I haven't spruced it up or anything. It just looks like it's functional. And there's a coop. <laughs> and that's all that matters. So you've been here a while and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now. Yes, how you know I didn't tell anyone, but sure. Well, did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at my home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Ladies and gentlemen, she's inviting me over. Wink, wink. In fact, I wink with two eyes because I'm that special. You can access Emily's sewing machine. Thank you kindly. To start tailing, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment and see what unique styles are out there. I shall do that in uh, due time. I've never done tailoring before in my life. Okay, cool. Now on to the missions for today, guys. It is Maru's birthday, so I'm going to give her that strawberry that's been sitting in my chest for a long time. I also want to pick up my pickaxe, and while I'm going in that direction, I want to do a bit of a museum drop as well. I want to go buy some chickens, and then because we're doing a drop, we might as well drop a whole bunch of things off at the community center as well. Then I want to go and see if I can get a barn going, and then do some actual mining for today. So there's actually a whole lot of stuff that we need to do. I think I do have enough wood here. It annoys me that I'm this type of person who has to take the exact amount. It is 350 pieces of wood and 150 for stone. Excellent, so we'll be able to do that as soon as we run up there. I'm not going to upgrade any other tools at this point because it's going to be too expensive. Like I'm I'm tight for money at the moment, I think. Uh, Mayor Lewis will all be gathering for the luau, thank you kindly. The other guy on the television already told me that. Let's quickly grab all of these ones here. Um, let's grab this bait and let's set this up again. Benjamin seems to be in the background somewhere. He's having a good old bork. Fantastic, and we'll pop the, uh, we'll pop these in here as well. All right then. Actually, before I go anywhere else, we need. To, I, I just I know that I'm going to be doing this, but where is those strawberries are over here? I just want to make sure I have that strawberry on me or else I might forget because it's not in the community center chest. The trees are coming along nicely so I'll probably be putting some tappers on them soon. I can't see, oh, there we go there's the sunflowers and I think these, uh, that stuff is also ready to go. So I think we will just do this then. Replace these two. Oh wait actually hmm, we've actually run out. So give me a second here ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we're going to be planting these summer seeds here now. Because if I'm not mistaken, ooh, here's another grape. Let's quickly grab that. Yum, yum, yum. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yep. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's been updated that now you can put um, any type of wheat into the thing and it should work. We, we'll, we'll soon see. All right, let's quickly make our way down to uh, What's Her Face and see if we can buy some chickens. I think my barn door is closed, so I want to be able to go and pet the little guys before letting them out into the open. So excited! This is going to be a good day. This is going to be getting a lot of stuff done. I'm running with pieces of wood. <laughs> Making a sacrifice to the wood god. 
We've also got 10,840, so we're doing pretty well. Oh my god, Jazz, what are you doing? Hi. Yes, yes. God damn it. Anyway, supply shop. Uh, we won't be able to milk the guys just yet, so... Actually, what, what are we doing? I'm purchasing chickens. <laughs> Alright guys, so we need a brown chicken and we need a white chicken because these chickens lay eggs um, corresponding with the color that they are. Uh, hmm, what am I going to name this chicken? No, randomize... Uh, Vernard. <laughs> that is a beautiful name for a chicken. Oi, Vernard. I like that. <laughs> Great, I'll send little Vernard to her home right now. Wow. Alright, let's purchase another little chicken. And this is a this is another brown chicken. So we don't want a brown chicken. We want a white chicken. That's another brown chicken. Let's go out of the conversation. Let's try this again. There we go. And here is our white chicken. So bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. For the community center, you need a large white egg and a large brown egg. So you need one of each. A Ferti, Shachi, Vetch, Wetch, Philo, Tiana, Sninano. Sninano. Okay, we're going to go with that. I think I can change these later on if I feel absolutely repulsed by those names because they're kind of terrible, aren't they? All right, cool. So that is chickens off the list. Um, we will now go up in this direction. And we're going to pick up anything that I want for the community center. I'm actually going to quickly drop these seeds back to where they belong. Because I did want them. It's looking good. And I think the... Yep, there's the ancient seed. And there's my coffee seed as well. Excited, people. Summer seeds can go back in here. I should have probably planted that star drop. But I just... It's, it's a single seed. I just can't be bothered. Alright, because it is Maru's birthday, we already have the thing for her. So, because I want to do a community center run as well, I think we're just going to donate as much of this stuff as we... Uh, okay, no, we don't need to donate that one. It's already done. Chicken statue is something that's already there. Okay, finally sorting through all this stuff. There's a couple of things that I don't need. This should all be fine to take over to Gunther. Now, I do have the resources on me to go to Robin as well. So, I think we're just going to head off and go for gold. Pick up some of these spice berries along the way because we are ravaging ravages. Uh, that just didn't make sense. <laughs> Alright, going off to the town. Let's see what we can get here. Ooh, got some ore there. Hello, Clyde. Have you got what I need? Ah, oh, it feels good. Golden pickaxe. Yes. Thank you very much, my kind sir. Hey, what do you need? A conversation from you would be fantastic, but you are not a conversationalist. Hello, Jazz. You... You're not blocking me this time, love. Thank you kindly. Uh, let's quickly go and say hello to these ones here anyway. Hello. Don't block myself from him. Oh, Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. <laughs> Poor little guy. We don't have a school here, but I'm going to give, doing my best to give Vincent and Jazz a proper education. Good on you. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. And one more time. Jazz is very good at math and reading. Vincent is good at, well, he has... An active imagination. I'm having a throwback to uh, episode something when he was looking at a rock thinking it was an egg. So yes, active imagination. Alright, let's see here. Donating to the museum. Uh, can toss this here. Oh, I thought I already had that one. That's unfortunate. Okay, so that's everything donated to the museum. At some point when we have some extra cash, we will have to do a geode run. Because geodes are a fantastic way to boost up all those um, artifacts that you can donate. Everyone's excited for the luau tomorrow. Oh, nice. Um, concerned ape, you got text for the next day. I like that. Maybe a little nervous too, considering the governor will be here. Oh, don't worry. I've got a special something for the governor. It's been in my chest for a solid month. <laughs> I think he's going to enjoy that. Ah. <laughs> oh. Now I need to find Maru as well, so I'm hoping that she is up towards her house today. I'll quickly check if she's in here. Or, hmm, would he leave her unattended in here? Okay, she's not in there. Excellent. I could have just said hello to him, but oh, he's going the other direction. I just, I just can't be bothered running after him. There is a lot of sweet peas around here, so this is good. Grabbing this one as well. Hello, mate. You want another fine specimen? Here you are. Thank you. This is an interesting specimen. I don't want to give him wood. 
I, I don't want to give this fella wood game. Did you know that my wife hates stone? She finds it absolutely fell. I'm not sure why. I mean, she is a carpenter. And I don't know, so I guess you specialize in a certain material, but seeing as she, you know, works with a material, I would, I'm surprised that she doesn't like um, stone. That's a little bit strange. Ah, excellent. So, Lakefish Bundle is now done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I wish it was a, a lower quality one, but it's the best we can do. Really? A dressed spinner? Nah. So, we just need the walleye, the tiger trout, and these two. Uh, yeah, these two. That's, that's, no, that's no biggie. Alright, so the chef's bundle. We do need to put the poppy here. Excellent. And we don't have any of these other things. This is why we need a house upgrade, because we need to be able to make these items. I think on the off chance you can buy them from Gus, but I'd rather just put fate into my own hands and, you know, do it myself. Now, this is what I was meaning, ladies and gentlemen. Is there a way to put all these into the thing? We got one sunflower there as well, so excellent. Damn it, we forgot the aquamarine. Yeah. And there was that rabbit's foot. And I think that's actually everything except for here. We need to do this. Excellent, we still need a nautilus shell, and I think that's in winter. I just don't want to. Cool, excellent. I've got a Nautilus shell right there. What am I doing? And the exotic bundle, we can now put that one in here. And also the carriage. So we just need a single thing now from either the cactus or one of these oak resins or resins. So that's doable. And the construction bundle will just have to sacrifice some things at some point. Okay, I think that is everything. Fantastic. Except for the Nautilus shell, I'll quickly pop that one in there as well. Excellent, so that is actually very good. That's going to take his friendship up as well. Me and Demetrius, we are just, you know, the closest scientist buddies. We science together. Now that is a winner-winner chicken dinner. I'm actually very pleased with that. Definitely going to set that up back home. Actually, no, I'm forgetting something. The cloth, and that was actually in the pantry with the animal section. So, ah, uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Let's quickly head back in here and go to the animal bundle. Actually, and while we're looking at this animal bundle... If I can find the cloth. It was not there. Uh, the artisan bundle. My apologies. There we go. Now for the artisan bundle. Yeah. So there's all these things. I can do that. I can do that. All, all these top ones. In fact, the artisan bundle I would do purely with animals. But now that I'm actually going with the apple as well. No, no. I still need a pig because you do need a truffle for something else. And yeah. So see, large egg, large egg, brown and white. So you need a chicken of each one. And there's still basic wool there as well. Okay, now let's see if we can go find Maru and give her her birthday gift. Speaking of which, I think, where is... Demetrius is on one heart now. And this is going to be a golden uh, strawberry. So I think Maru, Maru is probably going to move up to our number one uh, person. There's a good chance of that, actually. And we also need to see her mother. <gasps> well, speak of the devil. Hello, hello. Are you enjoying the season? I really am. I, I really am, actually. Zero hearts off. We'll see about that. It's been w so warm this year. Here you go. Have a strawberry. And she's now on four. That's... Wow. My God. A birthday gift? That is very kind of you. I love it. Well, I... I, I did specially keep that for you for about a month in my drawer. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Hello, Robin. How are you? Hey there, Artemis. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry, carpentry projects. Are you doing okay with your place house and woodwork in your cottage holding up? The bed creaks, but it's it's absolutely fine. Alright, the construct farm buildings. We want to make a barn. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm thinking about just tossing this barn uh, just over here. I forgot to go see the chickens. God damn it, I forgot to go see the chickens. That is, that is unforgivable. Okay, cool, excellent, and wonderful, so now we can go and do our mining. But because I forgot the chickens and I want to make a point of this, I am going to go see those chickens. Hello, Linus, can I give them? Don't eat it in front of them. This is a great gift, thank you. I have to be wary of strangers, but, uh, yeah, people are not liking you. 
and you still seem to be very wary of me and it's time to starting to grow old. I've shown you nothing but kindness. Yeah, I'm going to make a point of this. I am going back home and I'm going to go pet my chickens because I want to. They need to be happy chicks, all right? They need to be happy chicks and they need to produce me fantastic eggs. And here we are. Here we have little uh, Vernard and Sninano. <laughs> And let's quickly just grab all this and pop it all in here. Excellent. And we're going to open the doors here. And there we go. And now just while we are here, yeah, I'm taking this thing right now and I'm going to place it here. We'll place all these wheats back in here as well. And I think this is not required anymore. Uh, this is not required anymore. That's not required anymore. That's not required anymore. Um, chicken statue. Yeah. So now I can just sell all these things. Actually, no, we do need a Nautilus shell for something, I believe. So we'll just keep that there. Uh, the recycle machine will set up tonight, so I'll just keep that on me for the time being. But let's make our way over to the mines, and I want to do a bit of mining today. Uh, just a bunch of mining. I want to see if I can get um, a couple of dust sprites and such. But actually, now speaking of, we are going to do this right now. One, two, three, four. Grab these boots as well. I want to sell these. And I, I've been meaning to do this for a while. And it seems it's like one of these days where you're just running around doing stuff and everything. I need to get this done. Because it's been annoying me for a while. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I was struggling to get grapes before. And now I find grapes at every turn. Unbelievable. Gil, wake up, we have a visitor. Speaking of which, the dust sprites. Where are they up to? Uh, 115, so we're one fifth of the way. Mm, that feels very good. That was a bit of money there. Excellent. So let's head out and let's go and do some mining and eradicate as many dust sprites and get as much iron ore as we possibly can. We'll go down to level 40 because this is where the dust sprites are. At least we can break these rocks in one go as well, which is fantastic. And also I want to break as many of these stones as I can as well because we're going to be needing a lot of stone for the future. And I do hear the little guys. <gasps> there they are. Let's go get them. Uh, guy juked me. Cool. There's more dust sprites here. And there is some hardwood as well. It's been a hard day's night. And I've been working like a dog. There you go. That's the ladder there. And here is another jade as well. I'm hoping that one of these things is going to have like a, a light source for us. Like a light ring. That would be really nice. Uh, nothing down there. I will get this though. And I'm not going to bother with that box. Actually, you know what? I am going to bother with this box. Because maybe there's a light ring in here. Nope, there's some iron ore. But that's still worth it. <gasps> I feel so mean hunting down these little guys, but yeah, yeah you come on. See, that, that must be a sign. It's like, don't hurt the little guys. But I'm not having a bar of that. These guys give the best reward in the game, in my opinion. Oh, oh come on. But there is the staircase. Excellent. So let's just head down. There we go. Much better. Much better indeed. There's even an emerald there on the left, so we shall head in that direction. Now I'm wondering if I've actually donated an emerald. A precious stone, I have donated an emerald, so no worries. I can keep or I'll probably give that as a gift, to be honest. Because uh, gems are actually really nice as gifts. Now which one of these scrolls am I missing? Am I missing like the red one? Like the very first one? I will have to go and pick that up at some point because learning the language of the dwarf is going to be important at some point. It's so much easier with a golden pickaxe. Mm, don't hurt me. Face the other way, man. Alright, it's getting on for time, but I'll probably head out at about 12 or something. Maybe 12.30, because I've got the minecarts now, which is so good. Ah, mm, mm, mm. oh, the ghosts are going to start turning up as well. That's good. I remember when these guys used to give me problems. That one episode where it took me a god awful long time to kill him. Yeah, that was horrid. <laughs> and he's still following me. It's like maybe I dropped my wallet or something. Come on, buddy. 
Thank you. And that is Solar Essence and Gold. Yeah, Dust Sprites are really a good source of coal. Like a really good source of coal. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, I was not paying attention to the time. Ooh, yeah, that's actually really, really bad. <laughs> I'm probably going to make it, but I was not paying attention at all. Wow. Okay, so let's put these ones back in here. Okay, let's head home, and I think I might just have to jump straight into bed, because I was really not paying attention there. You see, that is how useful the minecarts are. You can make it home in, like, literally 20 minutes. It's astounding. Speaking of which, now this is also for a community center. It was for a community center, not anymore. All right, let's pop into bed and see how we go. See if we leveled at all. Nope, no, no levels at all. But we were able to make a little bit of money, which is 648. So that's pretty nice. And it is the uh, Luau today as well, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm probably going to play through this day as well because the Luau is actually going to cancel the day. So uh, there you go. Rightio, so the weather for tomorrow is going to be another storm. Excellent. And the fortune is very displeased today. Well, I mean, there's nothing displeasing that I can do at the Luau. I mean, I could chuck in a puffer fish, but I don't have any. And living off the land, starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells. Okay, good. I'll be doing a lot of fishing, so I'll be sure to pick all of those up. So because it is the Luau today, ladies and gentlemen, I'll check what time that one starts, but it's probably just going to be cleaning some stuff at home etc etc um yeah there's not much i can do so chopping down some wood um petting the chickens yeah it's gonna be a simple day here we have this one and that one excellent the food is still topped up so no worries they're gonna be very happy I'm going to take a whole bunch of trash here so we have all the trash things that we need we don't need that for a community center but we will use it for energy uh we'll, we'll probably get rid of this other stuff not too fussed about it but we'll quickly take this and put this on us, so whenever we need to go to the uh, festival, we can. Um, actually, no. I'm going to keep those two, because eventually we're going to start um, with the actual winter stuff, and then we can make extra seats that way. Silly me. Toss that in there. Uh, do a drive-by pat. Hello, Benjamin. How are we? And let's cut up a couple of these as we are running down. There is a cockle over there. The reason why I'm going to the Luau, ladies and gentlemen, is because if you actually put a the best ingredient into the pot, it affects everybody's relationship with you, and I mean everybody. So it's going to bring up everybody by one heart, I think. So we're going to check that as soon as we're done with that uh, tonight or tomorrow. The Luau has begun. How long do I have before I actually have to be there? So I have until about 2 p.m. to do a little bit of um, chopping some wood and everything around here, so yeah, it can be done. Just have to make sure I get there. It'll probably take me an hour or so, hour and a half to run there, so I'll probably leave at 12, I think. I'm doing as much of this wood chopping as we can, because eventually we do want to spruce up our farm. But all the coops and everything that we need to buy is hugely expensive, so yeah, we need to make sure we have enough resources for that. I'm actually going to go clean up that spot around my other trees that I want for these saps because if there's things growing in between them that's going to prevent them from actually you know sprouting and speaking speaking of which I want to get rid of all this stuff here all this grass I don't want it encroaching on my land my cropping field my crop field sorry let's go and chop down this tree just now and then we'll head over to the luau very good so we've made another just under 300 wood for today as well I think my chickens are going to be very happy, but we'll probably chop down maybe one, one or more trees tonight when we come back home. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Luau. Ah, excellent. Alright, so I'm going to do my thing and I'm going to go say hello to everyone and I'll meet you guys back here when we're ready. Alrighty then, so let's quickly toss this into the pot. <gasps> A golden cauliflower, you added it to the soup, delicious. Alright, should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yes, let's start. I'm actually getting a little bit hungry myself. Well, folks, it's time once again for potluck ceremony. I trust you all put high quality ingredients into the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret this visit to the valley. My ingredient has been sitting in my chest for about a month, so it is high quality. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting soup? Oh, he's gonna love this. Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. 
Mmm, now that is delicious. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. You're right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now who else wants a taste? The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. And so, let's quickly check this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Um, well, I haven't spoken much to Harvey, and yet I think it does put some points up. So I don't know by how much, but at least by a little bit. Going to do the rest of the cleanup for tonight. The thing is, as soon as you know there's new trees, I want them to sprout up. So I don't want to plant new acorns because that's already one planted and growing. So let's get a little bit more hardwood, actually. Yeah, this episode's all about just well, this uh, night has all been a, has been about just gathering some stuff. I'm really looking forward to getting getting a glow ring. In fact, I think that's actually a reward for one of the bundles. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that bundle next. Just I'm going to look up which one it is and see if I can get that one done because I really want a glow ring because running around in the dark like this is not fun for me and I guess it's not fun for you guys to watch. So yeah, that's going to be on my to-do list. Okay, I think that is pretty much all the hardwood here. I can't see any more. There might be one more, but we will have to wait and find out. Let's quickly close this door because I want to see the chicks tomorrow before they run away. Uh, let's sell that and let's sell... Uh, that's the only thing I wanted to sell. Excellent, so I think we're going to quickly pop into bed as well. Let's do this. Yeah, so we got 620 wood and 600 stone. So, um, yeah, we need to get a bit more stuff here because those big barns and big coops are costing I guess like pretty much this amount so yeah we need probably triple the amount of wood and stone so yeah that's gonna be mining runs and just chopping some wood as well on the off days alright guys I think I'm going to call that episode there so let's see if we leveled up with our foraging at all we did <gasps> we can make tree fertilizer yes that is so good I love tree fertilizer it is one of the best additions to this game such a good thing and we were able to make a modest $63 today <laughs> that's amazing all right guys so that is the end of this episode so yeah quite a bit happened actually oh it's raining fantastic all right so we were able to do a little bit of uh, the community center stuff you know drop off everything we got our upgraded pickaxe we were able to buy a barn which is fantastic we're working a little bit more towards the money because we have our monthly goals which is own a whole bunch of stuff upgrade a house a stable get the apple and the pomegranate tree yeah it's going to be a very busy summer so yeah cheers guys if you enjoyed that episode remember to hit that like button and if you're new here and if you're enjoying the content consider subscribing because i'm going to go all the way to the end of the community center and to ginger island and beyond maybe a full completion but until next time guys cheers peace out